class 10 today we are going to start with the next chapter the proposal the proposal what it is about as the name indicates what is the meaning of proposal to bring forward uh, you can say um, an idea to continue something to do something here proposal is mainly related to marriage of course like uh, during marriage different people they come with proposals and ultimately whatever match the parents think is fit they continue with that but here it is this kind of proposal means it is given in a uh, you can say it is a farce what is farce what type of you can say this category of writing farce okay it is a farce means it is a uh, means it is written in a comic manner it is written in a comic manner including some buffoonery means some foolishness okay so here how this chapter it actually what it uh, explains it explains about you can say um, the conventional system of marriage and how rich people land owning people they are driven by their desire to increase or to enhance their estates okay in and this chapter all the characters they are of russian background that is in the 19th century that it means that those people of Russia who are driven by their desire to own their, you can say, large estates to expand their lands. And ultimately, they are also seeking for, you can say, rich matches. And for that, they even know that they cannot get along well with these kind of matches. But still, they are continuing with these kind of matches. And ultimately, you can say, it is, of course, a satire. It is, of course, a satire, right, on the wish of the people. What kind of satire on the wish of people? To be rich, that is, they own, they want to increase their properties. They deliberately want to give rise to their, you can say, to their expansion of empires, their estates, okay? And this is how they are doing it means that through these matches okay so here in this chapter lomov who is the neighbor of land owner chubukov he has come with a proposal for marriage for his daughter natalia natalia who herself ultimately you will see that how foolishly they fall into a fight for each other Okay, they fa fall for fight with each other and ultimately when she comes to know that he has come with a proposal for me and ultimately because he is a good land owner, he owns a large estate, so she immediately got ready. But during that they fall and they fight over petty matters, useless matters they were fighting over. Okay, so it means that through, the, through this you can say simple, you can say but the main important, or you can say the main, you can say, um, um, uh, the main, you can say idea of getting married, that is the proposal. They are explaining actually the actual society of 19th century of Russia, that how people, they got attracted not towards the qualities of persons, but they are attracted towards the large states that they own. And ultimately how Ivan, who has come with the proposal and finally they fought too much that they come to the verge of abusing each other. Okay. But ultimately when she has come to know that Natalia, when she has come to know that um, Lamont has come up with the proposal, she immediately changed her mind. Okay. So with the, you can say quite, you can say uh, foolish things and foolish, you can say conversation. This chapter is replete with and you will find number of humorous ways where you can't stop yourself laughing to. Okay, it is written in the form of, you can say, one act play. Just a moment, let me share with you this. So, just a moment, please, yes. So here it is displayed on your screens, so something, it's not like that. Just a moment, please. Yeah. 
yes so this is the chapter the proposal that we are going to read okay so what this proposal is all about i have told you right so ultimately this proposal is actually a marriage proposal okay so about the background of russian wedding we will read afterwards first of all we will have the starting from here the proposal originally titled so the proposal originally titled a marriage proposal is a one act play a farce i have told you that why it is called as farce because there are many foolish things many foolish you can say conversations are included and the foolish idea behind got married means the reason okay that why they want the word that why they want to get married okay it is just to increase increase their just a moment please something wrong happened just a moment yes that just for their desire to enhance their you can say land they are ultimately going into this you can say this you can say bond of marriage okay so let us start with this it is a farce by the russian short story writer and dramatist anton chekhov i told you that it is written by russian a uh, russian writer that is anton chekhov and it was written in 1888 and 89 means it is related to 19th century the play is about the tendency of wealthy families to seek ties with other wealthy families to increase their estates by encouraging marriages that make good economic sense yes ultimately what is the reason uh, otherwise means what is the basis of finding a good match the basis of finding a good match is to seek a match in which you will find you can say in which you will find a person who has emotional bonding with you who will understand you emotionally as well as ultimately be a compatible match to you okay but here what is there just to expand their you can say boundaries just to expand their states estates they are not at all thinking about you can say they are not at all thinking about you can say uh, about the qualities of the person but it is solely depending upon the fact that how much land they own so ivan lomov a long time wealthy neighbor of stepan chubukov also he is also wealthy he comes to seek the hand of chubukov's daughter who is 25 year old and whose name was natalia all three are call some people means call some means they are too eager to fight means tolerance par is zero in in case of all the three and they call over petty issues petty issues means useless matters they call over useless matters and the proposal is in danger of being forgotten amidst all this quarreling means what is the reason of coming of lomov to chubukov house it was entirely forgotten that why he has come because they are concerned with something else but economic good sense ensures that the proposal is made after all although the quarreling perhaps continues but economic good sense ensures means but finally ultimately economically they wanted to grow themselves to expand their estates to expand their empires and it is just for this this reason that proposal is finally made and after all although the quarreling perhaps continues this quarreling continues and you will can't you can't stop yourself laughing when you will see that how they will fight okay and you will also see the vanity among people during this time that how they are doing all these things okay so now here as the three main characters i have written on the board also and here it is written see here first is stepan stepanovich chipukov because these are russian names it really feel you will feel bit difficult in order to read them who is a land owner who is neighbor of lomov natalia stepanova she is the daughter of chubukov and she is 25 years old and lomov has come with the proposal for natalia and ivan vesselvich lomov is a rich land owner or neighbor and neighbor of chubukov 
he is good person of course at heart also and he has come a proposal for natalia okay so now here goes this you can say story now it's a one act play in the form of dialogues it will be there if you will be in class so i would have made one natalia one la mom and you will be reading but here it is not possible so i'm continue so chup a drawing room so where is the scene set up the scene is set up in the drawing room of chup chupkov's house which is the main you can say reception area of a house lomov enters he was wearing a dress jacket and white gloves means he was nicely dressed up modestly he was dressed up and he as he has come for a special purpose so this is the reason that he was specially dressed up and he was wearing white gloves and a dress jacket and chubukov rises to meet him yes chubukov he stood up from his seat in order to meet him chubukov my dear fellow whom do i see ivan vasilovich i am extremely glad he squeezes his hand means shook hand and ultimately squeezes a bit to show assurance okay now this is surprise my darling how are you it means that like complete you can say vanity he is showing her oh my god ivan has come to my house so he shook hand with him and ultimately he say how are you how you have come to my house lomo who is of course good at heart there is no doubt in it he says thank you and how may you be getting on they exchange good wishes and ask how you are doing how you are doing chubuka we just get along somehow my angel thanks to your prayers and so on he is saying that we are doing pretty well just because of the prayers of good friends like you and finally it is we are doing well sit down please do now you know you shouldn't forget all about your neighbors my darling my dear fellow why are you so formal in your get up evening dress gloves and so on can you be going anywhere my treasure so see what kind of you can say lofty words for a neighbor he is using he is using okay like he is saying my treasure okay so good fellow or my dear fellow so he is saying we are doing pretty well but today why you have come in such as you can say special dress to my house wearing these evening gown a uh, sorry evening dress with gloves and so on is something special that you have come to my house lomov no i have come only to see you honored stepan stepanovich means they are quite respectful towards each other in the starting he said no 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 i have just come to see you respected stepan stepan stepanovich chubukov then why are you in evening dress my precious see again the word used is my precious some you can say somewhat you can say exaggeration and moreover in an exaggerated way they are telling so so my precious as if you are paying a new year's eve visit so he said why you have come in this special evening dress to my house it seems like that you have come in for a new year eve visit like you have come to specially wish us good evening uh, sorry new year wish lomo well you see it's like this he said yes you can think in this manner he then takes his arm i have come to you honored stepan stepanovich to trouble you with a request no he said actually i have come here with a request to present to you not once or twice have i already had the privilege of applying to you for help and you have always so to speak i must ask your pardon i am getting excited i shall drink some water on a step and step in which as he has come with the proposal for marriage with natalia so this is the reason why he was getting bit nervous he said actually i have come with a request okay actually earlier also one or the other two one or other two times i have the privilege that you have helped me but now i have come here with a special again i ask your pardon as i have come with a request to you and he says of course i am getting excited at that request at that request he said let me drink some water and he drinks water chubukov you will enjoy it just involve yourself in reading 
Chubukov. He's come to borrow money. Means aside, he moves. Means he thought that he has come to borrow some money from me. Shan't give. I sh shan't means I shall not give him any allowed. What is it, my beauty? See the see the double face of a person. Double face person Chubukov was. Like at one time he is thinking that he has come for a selfish motive to borrow some money, and the other time he is saying, "My dear beauty, tell me what's the matter." He so you can say with sugar coat sugar coated tongue he is speaking, "My beauty, my treasure." But from deep from the heart he was thinking that he has come up with some selfish motive. Lomo, you see, honour Stepnitch, I beg pardon, Stepan Step, honour Rich. I mean, I'm awfully excited, as you will please notice. In short, you alone can help me, though I don't deserve it, of course, and haven't any right to count on your assistance. So now he is not directly. See, he is, you can say, rolling the thing round and round. Okay, he is not coming to the direct matter that he has come with the proposal. He is just, you can say, not able to express. Okay, because he was so excited. Okay. So he said, you know, um, honourable, honourable means very honourable person. Actually, he said, I'm really very excited. Uh, actually, I know that only you can help me in this matter and nobody else. And it's really your help that is really very important in this matter. Chubukov, oh, don't go round and round it, darling. Spit it, spit it out well. Round and round again, I told, I'm telling you, he was moving round and round, not coming to the exact point. For the reason he has come here, he said, don't go round and round, dear. Just tell me what you are saying. Lomo, he said, one moment, one moment, this very minute. The fact is, I have come to ask the hand of your daughter, Natalia, for marriage. He said, actually, the thing is that, that I have come to you to ask for the hand of your daughter, Natalia, and this is the reason why I have come to your house. Now, what will be the reaction of Chubukov? Extremely happy he was because he knew that Lomov is a perfect match for her, for his daughter, as he is quite rich. Chubukov, joyfully, happy he was. Oh, by job, Ivan Veselvich, say it again. I didn't hear it all. He was so excited even. He was so happy to listen this, that he himself has come for this marriage proposal. He said, what you said? I can't hear it. Please say it again. Lomov, I have the honor to ask. Then he again started. Actually, I have come here to ask for the hand of your daughter, Natalia, for marriage. Chubukov, my dear fellow, I'm so glad and so on. Yes, indeed. And all that sort of thing. He embraces and kisses Lomov. Means he says, this is the perfect thing that would have happened to me. And this is reforce very, I'm very happy at this very moment. He embraces and started kissing Lomov because he was super excited. He was really very happy. I have been hoping for it for a long time. He said, it was, of course, my desire since a long time. It's been my continual desire. I really want this. And he sheds a tear. And out of happiness, he sheds a tear also. And I have always loved you, my angel, as if you were my own son. May God give you both his help and his love and so on. And so much hope. What I'm behaving in this idiotic way for, he's saying, actually, you are really a very good son. You are really a very good person. You are just like as a son to me. And I have ever thought better of you. He said, I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about so idiotic things this time. I'm off my balance with joy. Off means I have lost my balance with happiness. I don't know what to say. This is the reason. He said, I'm talking a bit stupidly. And absolutely off my balance. Oh, with all my soul. I'll go and call Natasha and all that. He said, of course, I'm ready. And I'll call Natasha. And finally, we will have it approved. Now, Lomo. He was greatly moved. He was, of course, very happy. Of honored Stepan Stapnovich. Do you think I may count on her consent? I may count means, do you think that I should consider that she would be ready? Why, of course, my darling, as if she wasn't cons consent. She's in love, egad, means Russian expression. Of course, she would be happy. 
she is like a love sick cat and so on she shan't be long she says he said don't worry she would be really very happy there is no you can say question about her consent she is a love sick cat means she loves to be loved and ultimately she would really be happy if she would come to know that you have come up to my house with such a great proposal no more it's cold i'm trembling all over just as if i had got an examination before me he said really it's really a very tough situation for me as if i'm standing or i'm sitting in an examination here the great thing is i must have my mind made up he said actually i need some time to make my mind up if i give myself time to think to hesitate to talk a lot to look for an ideal for a real love then i will never get married but it's cold natalia stepnovi is an excellent housekeeper and not bad looking and well educated he said actually the first thing is that i was looking for a perfect match the perfect match for myself and ultimately who would be a really real love for me but actually he said if i would be looking for an ideal match for me i think that who would be perfect in all aspects and all spheres of life it would not be possible for me to seek such a match but he said when i thought of natalia stepnova she is of course excellent housekeeper housekeeper means she is taking care of the house very well she is of course good looking also and well educated and what more do i want he said all these qualities are required by me for uh, a girl to get married but he said extra things i have never wanted but i am getting a noise in my ears from excitement he said no out of excitement there i i'm just looking i'm just hearing a voice in my ears means he got excited he drinks again means water and it's impossible for me not to marry in the first place i'm already 35 a critical age so to speak and in the second place i ought to lead a quiet and regular life he said now he wanted to marry what are the two reasons for getting married is that firstly he has turned out to be 35 he said of course a critical age at which one should get married and moreover he said that he wanted to live a quiet regular life means a peaceful life he wanted to live i suffer from palpitations palpitation means you can say uneasiness feeling of uneasiness he said but this is my problem i am excitable and always getting awful upset and this very moment my lips are trembling and there is a twitch in my right eyebrow sometimes it happens that your involuntary muscles out of excitement they show their effect and ultimately your eyebrow or your eye it started twitching okay so similarly this happens with lomo also that he is saying that my lips are trembling out of excitement and his right eyebrow again twitching but the very worst of all is the way i sleep he said but the, out of these palpitation the worst thing is when i sleep i no sooner get into bed i begin to go off when suddenly something in my left side gives a pull and i can feel it in my shoulder and hand i jump like a lunatic lunatic means mad walk about a bit and lie down again but as soon as i begin to get off to sleep there's another pull and this may happen 20 times he say but the worst of all these palpitations is the time i lay me this is the problem that is being faced by lomo he said when i used to lie there is a pull in my left foot and ultimately travels to my shoulders then it goes so you can say deep that i started jumping like a mad person out of my bed then i would stand up would walk around the room a bit and ultimately he said that thing is controlled a bit but ultimately afterwards what happens again then again the same thing happens and again i lie same thing happen it happens almost 20 times okay natalia well dev it's you and papa said go there's a the merchant come for his goods how do you do ivan vessel which now by the time what happens natalia enters the scene he said oh it's you papa said that someone has come there's a merchant and oh it's you lomo it's good to see you lomo how do you do honored natalia how are you means very respectful 
he was towards ladies in a very respectful manner he was asking her that why she has come here so you must excuse my apron and and negligible means loose clothes she was wear she was wearing okay negligible means loose clothes okay and we are shelling peas for drying and why haven't you been here for such a long time sit down won't you have some lunch she said oh i'm really very sorry for my apron and this that i'm not in formal dress and these kind of loose clothes that i'm wearing she said that actually we were we were shelling the peas taking the peas out of their you can say pods and ultimately we uh, ultimately tell me for such a long time why you haven't come to our house lomov oh no thank you she asked that would you like to have lunch she said no thank you i have had some already so natalia she then smoked here are the matches she said then smoked here are the matches weather is splendid but yesterday it was so wet that the workmen didn't do anything all day she said but yesterday it was not a good weather and workmen they didn't do in anything all day how much hay have you stacked he means that straw he said how much you have stacked means gathered just think i felt greedy and had a whole feet cut and now i'm not at all pleased about it because i'm afraid my hay may not i ought to have wanted a bit but what's this why you are in evening dress well i never are you going to a ball or what do i must say you look better tell me why you got up like that now she said well, they were talking about their you can say fields and all that then she said but sir now tell me why are you in this evening dress special dress are you going to some ball means ballroom dance program lomov you see honored natalia the fact is i have made up my mind to ask you to hear me out of course you will be surprised and perhaps even angry but but it's awfully cold means again he is not coming to the exact point he said actually i have come to listen just from you actually then he has come actually the weather is too cold natalia what's the matter well she said what's the matter what are you going to tell me lomo i shall try to be brief you must know honored natalia that i have a long that i have long since my childhood in fact had the privilege of knowing your family okay and my late aunt and her husband from whom as you know i inherited my land always had the greatest respect for your father and your late mother see in spite of talking about marriage he talked about the land that chubukov and natalia they have borrowed from her from his grandmother and here lies the main problem now they will start a fight natalia will don't come to know natalia won't come to know that why he has come or he has come for a marriage proposal so now again the matter will be completely shifted to a new side and this we are going to read in the next lecture